And in the news coming in from uh, Chennai, a video has exposed a cop who can be seen brutally hitting a man. This 26-year-old techie is being hit by the sub-inspector who was on night patrol apparently because this man was standing outside of his home. The sub-inspector interrogated about what the person was doing, which further led to an argument between the two. And when the neighbors came out and gathered at the spot, the cop went ahead and abused them as well. This cop went on to say that if anyone stands on road, police will assault them. One of the onlooker, in fact, uh, was the one who shot this video that you're seeing on your television uh, vision screens and that images uh, clearly self-explanatory uh, to showing the extent of the injuries that this man has suffered on his hands, legs, as well as shoulder. Pramod Madhav getting us more inputs. He joins us live. Pramod, has any action been taken against this uh, police official who clearly was abusing his power, hitting a man as well as onlookers, threatening onlookers simply because, uh, uh, you know, this man was standing outside his own house? Well, it is a total misuse of power and this time like what the cops have done has been also recorded on video. That's why this uh, this uh, particular instance has come out to the public. As you can see in the video, Karthik, a 26-year-old uh, techie, was standing just outside his home. He was talking to his friend when the uh, sub-inspector, his name is also Karthik, he confronted him like, why are you standing in front of his home? Now, Karthik, uh, the techie claims that uh, the, the uh, sub-inspector spoke in a rude manner and he did not like that. That's when uh, the techie has stated that this is, I'm standing outside my home, I'm not doing anything illegal. That moment, that moment has only the cop has uh, lost his imbalance and he started thrashing him, it seems. As you mentioned, the, the neighbors only shot the video. There was a huge tussle between the, the uh, neighbors and the sub-inspector as well. And yes, action has been taken against him. Right now, he has been transferred to Anna Square Police Station. And uh, uh, I mean, authorities have also stated that uh, a, a kind of uh, inquiry will also be initiated. But this incident clearly also shows how very often these police officials uh, these incidents coming in from all ac across the country really promote misuse their power, abuse their power. In this case, it's a blatant misuse of power, isn't it? Because this man, uh, we understand, was just standing outside his house and he did not do anything to attract this kind of treatment. That is absolutely right. And uh, this time, like we spoke to certain officials who um, who, uh, uh, who did not come, want to come in front of the camera, but they stated like that these are uh, sub-inspectors who are directly appointed. They do not go through any kind of specific training or they do not get promoted in the level. So as they come in as sub-inspectors, they lack the sensitivity as to how to handle public. That's where this kind of like uh, confrontation occurs. This is one thing that was brought, I mean, caught on camera. There are many incidents such confrontations has occurred, but they are, like many have gone like uh, without public notice because nothing was on camera. This is the first time. If you watch the video, you will know the sub inspector even like uh, very strongly stating to the other people, and he even raises hand to uh, hit the person who's taking the video over there. Uh, the police have not yet like given a kind of a public apology, but they have stated that definite action would be taken against this. All right, Prabodh Madhav, thanks for getting us those inputs there.